Good morning, good evening, whenever you're watching this, and welcome back to Persona 5. So, in the last episode, Madarame had his change of heart, and now the Phantom Thieves are the talk of the town. Now, tomorrow is our social studies trip to the TV station, so let's take care of our nighttime activity. And help out, boss. You got time right now? All right, then. <sighs> Man, about freaking time we can rank up with him the next time we spend time with him. If we can find the time to spend time with him, though. Thanks. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And... Huh. I mean, everybody knows that. Chill, man. For example... Soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Could this get any more obvious? <sighs> You're right. <sighs> so sleepy. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna last. <laughs> What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole. M my apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there, you wanna be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who will get the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. Ah, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. We fought valiantly against the long cables. I'm so pissed off! Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Well, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me. 
We get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. Yeah, that would be a very bad idea. All my books are in there. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Oh, so you're the detective prince we've been hearing about. Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. Yeah, could use a little ruffling up. You don't get it. That's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. Come on, let's get to Dome Town. Widobashi. All right. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake instead? <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna puke. For real, my stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. Dude, it's not fair, using your cat hood as an excuse, only at times like this. Hey! Anyways, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Well then. They're gonna film us at the TV station tomorrow, right? Well, try not to stand out too much. That's what Ryuji's for. Alright, so we finally met the Detective Prince face to face. And he's gonna be on TV tomorrow. Well then. Mr. Akechi's coming on! Ah! It's Akechi! Oh, coming. he's so cool! Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. 
Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? Ah, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Ugh! Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Huh? That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. I wonder who the lucky guy's gonna be. Hmm? All right. Let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? <clears throat> They're justice itself. You say that with such firmness. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kejikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? What do you think? Ah, throwing the question back at me. Well, this is my opinion on the topic. Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Amen. Oh, sorry, I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god, I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using Li Young. All they simply do as the adults say. I feel like our discussions could prove quite fruitful. Would you mind talking with me again? <sighs> if I find the time. Thank you. It makes me glad to hear that. The students from Shujian are truly quite interesting. I look forward to seeing you again. Well then? Talk about a problematic guy to get involved with. There's probably a lot we can learn from him, though. It seems the detective Akechi has taken a liking to me. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. <laughs> so, the new Detective Prince is the Justice Confidant. Alright. This is going to be a very interesting relationship. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. Mm. What a boring field trip. Didn't even find any worthwhile targets. That catchy bastard! Thinking about what he said is just pissing me off again! He clearly tried to discredit everything we're doing. And he just had to say it on live TV, too. Don't be so sour. There are, without a doubt, people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I am living proof of that. Ah, oh, what a nice thing to say. Still, was what Akech couldn't said actually wrong? I feel like he had a point. Why are you gonna bring that up now? I mean, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? Doesn't it seem a little selfish? We are Phantom Thieves on. I doubt everyone would forgive us for what we did to Madarame. Yet, I still decided that it was a necessary act. Kamashita too. We weren't gonna do shit to him through any kind of normal methods. And that's true, but... What do you think, Ren? Are we being selfish? I mean... They say power corrupts, but... We're using it for selfless means. Not for our own ends. I guess I can't really think of any other way. Hmm. I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. Shouldn't that be enough? And with the unanimous decision rule in place, I doubt we'll lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing that up. And don't worry, I'm not thinking about quitting the Phantom Thieves or anything. Just you watch, Akechi. Someday you're gonna, totally gonna see who was right. Okay, let's stop talking about this for now. I see. The Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. 
God, I'm furious. You heard what Akechi said, right, Amamiya? How dare he declare the fan thieves are criminals? As the administrator of the Phantom Efficient Auto website, I can't stay quiet about this. I'm gonna show Akechi how people online really feel. I'll change up the survey question tomorrow morning. Justice is with the fan thieves. Keep on doing what you do best. Why is he of all people getting angry about this? Anyway, he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. Alright. So tonight, we're gonna call over Kawakami. Oh! Hi! Thank you for your call! I'm all your- Oh, it's you. You know, I've been hearing Shibuya is getting more dangerous lately. I'm sure you pass by that area on your commute to school, but don't make too many detours, okay? As long as you request me, I'll do your housework for just 5,000 yen. Hey! Then I'll head over! Okay, I'll get dropped off from the store then. Please clean up your room and wait for me. Kawakami cleaned my room. She seems to be thankful that I requested her. Thank you for using our service! Were you watching the broadcast? So the Fanthes were the bad guys? I guess now that you mention it... I felt that way the whole time. It's just brainwashing, isn't it? It's really self-centered. So the new question says, are the Phantom Thieves just? Did you catch any of that student detective on television yesterday? The Phantom Thieves are super lame! Ah, on that talk show? It was simply dreadful. How can anyone seriously suggest supernatural beings are stealing people's hearts? That child is a phony. There's simply no way the Phantom Thieves exist. Unfortunately, my precious children all think they're real. And worse, that this detective is amazing. Children are far too impressionable to see such vulgar content on TV. <sighs> Looks like people still don't think we're real. I can't believe we were on TV yesterday, with a catchy kun It was like a dream come true. I can't believe a high schooler moonlights as a detective. He's just like the detective prince. He's smart and handsome. He's almost too perfect. Too cool! We had front row seats. I could practically reach out and touch a catchy kun I was so nervous. He was really working that uniform, and without seeming like a snob. He's a natural at public speaking. I hear he's an orphan who grew up poor. It's part of what makes him so amazing. He wants his last high school memory to be capturing the Phantom Thieves. This isn't a game to him. It says who? See, I heard his dad's the head of some big financial conglomerate. I will say, I love that he hates the media. Makes me believe that he doesn't do this for the fame. People say he's so good that he's made enemies in the police force. Oh yeah. Apparently, yesterday's interview was so popular, they're going to air it again tonight. I just remembered. I've been seeing a lot of shows on TV lately about these phantom thieves of hearts. Why someone would steal something like a heart, which can't be turned into money, is beyond me. If I were a phantom thief, I wouldn't go after hearts or works of art. I'd go after gold. The value of gold has been high since ancient times, and there has never been a more stable resource. You. Now then, Amiya-san. 
Can you imagine how much gold has been excavated by humanity over the course of history? It would be three Olympic-sized pools. Correct. Surprisingly little, don't you think? That rarity is what drives its value. Nice going! All right. Incidentally, they say that 16% of the world's gold is in Japan. Was your first thought the Tokugawa clan's buried gold? It's actually in discarded home electronics. In other words, a junkyard is much more valuable than someone else's heart. What did you say? Huh. <laughs> you can't measure the value of a treasure with money. Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Or some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Ow! You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. You'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, I just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. How long were you standing there? Are you snooping on us again? You said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then, how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? 
I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents like you. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? Well, how about Ryuji's place? It's way too small. Plus, my folks had never agreed to it. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Huh? Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Huh? Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. I thought our decisions were supposed to be made unanimously! looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This rant will be on the house. You're helping, though. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh give me a taste. Cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're, a uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? That's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee! Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. Yeah, I've had a maid come by. Don't tell anyone, though. What?! Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. 
At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Hmm... Is there anything on the fan site? I've been looking. There hasn't been anything good out there lately, though. Plus, it's not like anyone ever talks about the big targets on there. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the... Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Oh my gosh! And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? Fine by me. Okay, hot pot it is. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. All right. Hey, boss. I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Wanna join us? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was Ahn, right? She's a nice girl. Yeah, yeah, she is. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. I asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Anyway, I should have a big pot somewhere around here. It's a cabinet for kitchen supplies. I wonder if there's a suitable pot in here. I found an old earthenware vessel. It should be big enough. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip, so I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? 
Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now... Yes? Mm-hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? Yeah, it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <laughs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh... She apologized to me. For being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. That's a bit of a doozy. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own, and it's over. But... I just did as I was told! Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... Come on, you fell on your own! Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. 
He shoved this gentleman to the ground, and this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. That's what happened. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? <sighs> Even if I knew who he was... I don't know. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. Hm. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. <laughs> Leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. Ryuji. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. 
It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now, but what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. As a girl? I mean, she is a great teammate. Oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. No, oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm. Still. Ugh, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. a nice bath. So, Yusuke? What's up? Hey. If you sit there, then where will I recline? Wait, you're sleeping on the couch? Oh well. Well. You didn't worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society. In other words, your picaresque. Deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Fool rank five, super stock. Increases your persona stock to 10 slots. All right. It's almost time. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh. You saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. 
Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. You have such high self-esteem. So the phantom thieves are evil and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. <laughs> Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart, either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you, then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Hey! You're finally awake! Oh, man, I'm starving. That's the first thing you have to say to me? You guys sure do eat a lot. That reminds me, I haven't seen Yusuke around. Maybe he's already downstairs? You up? You know it's past noon. That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left this painting before he took off though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Huh. Well, don't sell it, okay? It's very precious to him. <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. I never let go of a beauty like this. This painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hey. If you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly. 
but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I've entrusted the Sayuri to your protector, Sojuro. That painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. P.S. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. <laughs> hey, hey. So Yusuke went home, huh? Oh well. Guess that's best. Yo, I just checked the fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars using the fan these names. Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all of those weird people in Shibuya. You think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. This post said he started spending a bunch of money lately, too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there even are in Shibuya. Damn, things are really starting to get serious. Well, let's look into it. I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. No way. Police totally nab us if we were out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. Hmm, if they target restaurants. Ah, what if we draw them to Leblon? What? Hmm, there's no way. Who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? Leblon targeted. Seems like a viable plan to me. No, that's a horrible idea. Yep. I mean, you'd get kicked out of LeBlanc if we failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I had forgotten. How'd you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information whenever possible, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try looking for stuff, too. Alright. So, I'm gonna end the episode off here. So, next time, we'll do what we're doing today, and we'll see what comes after. Until then, thanks for watching. <laughs>